this is Hawk TV. Hello, I am Kweku Anan, and this is the classified program. Well, I come your way with much anticipated the political roadmap of the vice president and also the flag bearer of the governing party, Dr. Alahaji Mahamadu Baumia, in his quest to break the eight years. Indeed, in the beginning of his literature, raised questions over whether or not he was delivering an accountability of his government achievements or otherwise meant to lay down the roadmap into his government if gets elected in 2024. However, may I say, a little above an hour into his literature, the vice president captured both sides, but the roadmap into his new government obviously cannot, will not, and may not be described as feasible, nevertheless implementable, given the circumstances of his occupation in the Akufuado-led government. Moreover, as a member of the gatekeepers from the fourth estate of the realm, I listened to the vice president with keen interest and I took cognizance of four thematic areas under the economic sector the vice president spoke about and yet lied. Number one, he talked about his government remained the only government under the fourth Republican era to have employed a large number of our youth. And may I give a little emphasis on this, that the Vice President lied. One, no Ghanaian need any benchmark or any official poll to tell the Vice President, that Mr. Vice President, in 2016-2020, the governing party NPP went around nationwide and wrote number of street hawkers, wrote their names, their contact, all about the fact that they were going to give them jobs. Quite apart from writing their names, then they gave them 50 Ghana each. And the message onto these people at our streets were that we are going to provide you jobs. Folks, any Ghanaian can walk to the street depending where you are and check by the statistics that day in, day out, the street hawkers across our nationwide continue to increase but again may i say i am not talking about job employment for or if you like white collar jobs for our you know brothers and sisters from the universities and you know polytechnic university uh, you know university polytechnics or what have you no i am talking about the ordinary ghanaian who wake up and will go to the streets to sell and to earn something that the government under the direct principles of state policy who ostensibly have used the street hawkers as a base to cast their vote in want of what giving them jobs and yet ndc mpp who have done this primarily to score political vote all ended in shambles mr vice president so if you are talking about your government remained the only government that has, you know, employed the large chunk of Ghanaian youth. Please look no further. Go to the street by the roadside, right across that of your enclave, and see how many hawkers there. And what would you tell them? What you told them 2016, and what you told them 2020, and what you're about to tell them, all end up in the shoes of a big political lie. Number two, he said, Ghanaians can now obtain passport in 24 hour period. May I say, this is also a lie. A little emphasis on the above. And may I ask, <clears throat> excuse me, is the vice president here? When the minister of foreign affairs, Ayoko Bukri, in 2023, went to the passport office and screamed high heavens and told the passport office officials to produce all passport that has been in the, you know, under lock and key, produce them immediate effect. The minister screamed beyond and went further and dismissed some officers over there. Was the vice president Alahaj Muhammad Baumia in Ghana 
why again may i ask the minister of foreign affairs will go to passport office to scream high heavens in demand of passport that have been under lock and key for more than months is the vice president aware of what he's talking about who wrote that speech for the vice president who actually gave the vice president that statistics number three the vice president go, goes on to say student from other regional capitals can now apply for scholarship from their various locations may i say mr vice president this is also a palpable lie is the vice president aware of the massive corruption at the scholarship secretariat would the vice president investigate and pick a report from the auditor general's department that there has been a massive corruption at the scholarship secretariat close to seven years down the line and no government official or under his nose any action has been taken against these officials at the secretariat number four the vice president talk about digitalization at the port and harbors basically to enhance effective and efficient peopleization this is also a palpable lie rather there is the increase in corruption and inexplicable taxation on goods and services at ghana's port and harbors mr vice president the vice president may, you know, basically or may primarily means well. But the question is about the policies. When you put the policy across and you are unable to go in there and ensure an effective delivery, the last or the bottom line is the effective delivery of that policy to the bottom. If not checked and done, it's about call it plenty talk amount to nothing and it will not get yield any positive results moreover the vice president goes on to say he shall create a sustainable job for Ghanaians and again says his government would abstain and sustain microeconomy question remain have we been there before under his government and what did he do consequently the vice president says the private sector would be allowed to participate in road construction and housing projects. Again, question remain. What do we have to show of the above now and of the future? Folks, these are the areas I need to bring Ghanaians much closer to the door. Iran. Vice President Al Haji Muhammad Ubaumia, Edinin Symphobia Betwa Bonting. And some of the better to win in said the roadmap gearing towards if the vice president elected into government a quiet and an administration a new more bay a diama gana for but we and a classified yashin yt tinin semi name will be new with a law and some of vice president d2 gana yeah 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 members of the gatekeepers who coming from the forty state of the realm now may come up politicians in your moment as they say 2024 about to a year quote to a iran yeah 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 left from your right and yeah dear yeah be mamu politicians yeah motor me moha and feed yes if you are sabaku and the coin yeah modi on me it would be a moody do me and throw and not die and yeah could she some who boom see mo a can someone and yeah the correct regana for yeah, more, more politicians see quite beam. I'm only said it. Sans and moon in Jenagana for beam. Now, when a gunner for me, you must trim and send you my yard than it is. Vice President, the abet to dress an annual. A fee or coney nimno. Ocean in someone walk a canny nanwa. Now, quite a vice president, the naked cacket can send me mana quite to say or my speech about, if you like, an accountability of the achievements of government. But I don't know who will be and the vice president, and who here now, cause straight, now cause straight Ghana for the OB team here. Vice president, vice president, and I, and I say, oh, would you think that achievement be brave? And no Ghana for the OB team, you who did that? Say, Papa, and your Papa, and your Papa, Ghana for the OB judge. If you vice president, you know, Emran Beka, and your man, OB, see you vote, you know, man, you know, you know, you then somebody be nice. I knew Ghana for more. Just say passport and ne ono na buy mono. Aye, so easy say who can get passport at twenty four hours now on Saka. We 
and a classified year three vice president say Ms. me paucho mr vice president ayan tro vice president sasu chile mu biyo mse anyo wo uh enfie biya sabakwa ya di amamu anase kabime mike bini baya na bayino eni iti miya fa gana fono dudua na emu mwenye jumaye eni yesi ya niso yen tro miya fini yebe meja bibia re ye ni mkwanya mpp fa suwa wano mo eko street ni suko tro tro ni mi wo list of thousands of people e wo ho a wo mo ni mi be di nkomo kwanya mpp fo no aba e be tro tro mo di street hawkers na mi ken mi mpesi e be ko white collar job o de bi street ni so gana fo no mugu kumase ashanti region volta region central region western region wo mo ye gana fo employment be na mo di ama san krofu ya me ni mo ka se adi mu ni adi chi ni adi sen nara the street hawkers ni increase ana mo increase yet mo ko tro tro mo di se mo ma wo mo djuma e djuma ben e na mo tumi di ama mo enti vice president be je ho e ka kire gana fo se ane na ben mu no mo tumi ama employment na ador so a na eno ene aban ya etimi aya sad na na ese ye hwe vice president ne ne ka chense this is an affront to the intelligence of ganians e yen tro e yen nada e ya ko hwisem and vice president must be told in plain words o sai ka na se bisa ni o o hwe port and harbor so a paperless no so ene but ene na gana for money yen ye investigations ya ye port wonye bi ne na wo hwe kwan ya paperless asema ye ken corruption rather a deba and I think so inexplicable taxation say they buy on goods and services wa and on the intimate come on same way but vice president in a big chat or say I feel no more bad or baby or when you or baby more or baby critique a stain and sustainable jobs and many idea then in the ABC and say hey no 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 na ye kan unye mfri aben mu mpo nti etisen ne kra kra no asema o san kan ne se afi o behwe se o ba aben mu a o be ma private sector na take control over construction of roads any housing projects na no ye bi sa se sabri mpo etisen e na nkantem ye de be ko o chinechi roads a wo do san na wo men mu a ye beti nya ka se gana for and e shemu aye construct do do na modern ma foreign contractors including construction of our foot bridges na mani ade and na housing project na ye ka ho asem no ye mbi sa se ha how many ganians o and on beti me afford sa houses yi on sa ban ni na ba won be dwo manu me dwe 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 ba ye mbi sa se ye ka se a dire who was saying and a kufado led government in one of us here and how affordable can the average ghanian a bit me a kwa koto bie anya mi mko me ni mi mko echida she general ignatius kutu e champo na bresu o o she the whole of danceman estate a ene ma mprobi na afi wo ba baby ti se greater estate a ni na kutu e champo seven year rule of kutu e champo no sees her dying na na mumbi samu under the false republican era a dying dudu was saying and the party see me no meti me si siye e di ama gana for se e affordable yen kongo dem including me ka say a dying dudu was saying and the mpp a bayin me si di ama gana for ye easy siye be ti me ako dem e bi na ndc fo si ya sagleme project ye a dying ma akuma akube 200 and something plus and they see how many na dane kwa ye. And kutre, and kusye ni nchirebeni, ashe mu ma, oho adane e ghost town. Folks, 2024, ye kwa tuwa ba, as a member of the gatekeepers, and a member of the fourth estate, kwe kuanan, in charge of the classified, and other related media powerhouse. Ye ne politician si, ebe reso, ne bi bi ya mube ye bi ansu ye be e ye papa ye be ka en tro en ada en ya koshi sam eni rodo rada sam me she mo bo ye be expose mo tu mo bone en myro ye ma mo kwa en e mo mo ni ya tro ye ma mo kwa en e mo mo ni ya koshi sam en tro ni na ada mo di ya chile gana fo so much and beyond ye ye kashe mo e kashe mo ne se enough is enough Mr. Vice President I am sorry to tell you sir your roadmap 
into that of a dynasty of crossing the eight years is not feasible and indeed unimplementable go and come back again thank you this has been classified with quick one and i'll be back